this is a video recording the CS100 project which is a bank database we'll start by the run me m file the database is restricted in use by use of different passwords so you, there are different users such as administrator and limited users so if you enter an incorrect password and press enter the program would not load and you can see that the workspace that no variables have been loaded and passwords cannot be seen definitely so now we log in as an administrator the current password that I have set is admin it loads the main workspace which contains all of the previous data as you can see here all the data previously about all of the accounts that are maintained within the bank so the data is not lost we'll start by having an overview of different services that are present in the bank there are transaction services information services and operations and management so first of all I would like to start by opening a new account so say we want to open a new account the name of the customer is John date of birth was 20 March 1985 and say the identity card number is something whatever that you like address is house number 56 new this is all an example as you enter the data the system requires you to input a scanned card which contains the specimen signatures that have been provided by the user at the time of submission of the application form so I just developed this on some software which is a signature card which the MATLAB would now scan now the bank asks whether you wish to open a current account or a PLS savings account in the case of a CL, uh, savings account you are entitled to receive a profit based on the bank regulations and which is credited on a daily basis so we would go for a savings account the account has been successfully opened the account number is 006 so now the account is open so an account would not be of a great use unless you have some money in that so let us consider the various transaction services that we have here the first transaction says cash, cash withdrawal but the account that we have recently opened does not have any cash so we need to deposit it first okay the account number that we just opened was six and suppose we want to deposit 300 rupees or pounds more appropriately now this is a feature that requires a cashier's pin in case of any transaction that occurs which is currently set to cash but all of the passwords can be changed at will anytime and the depositor's name is say Lumar Lumar Khan a sum of 300 pounds was deposited into account number 6 the transaction is complete so now we go for cash withdrawal suppose we want to withdraw about from the same account that we just did we want to withdraw about 10 pounds from that now it opens the specimen signature card that we had provided at the time of opening of account which was all of the details that were filled by the customer by hand and uh, it requires the cashier to verify the signatures that have been presented on the check so if I think that the signatures are correct I enter my cashier's pin and the recipient's name is say Amjit a sum of 10 pounds was deducted from account number 6 the transaction is complete there are other features such as balance transfer now the balance transfer would involve transferring balance from one account to the other in this case I would like to transfer the balance from account that we have just opened which is account number 6 to account number say 3 or 4 or 5 so, which is my own account <laughs> and the amount that has to be transferred is 20 pounds 
Now it again requires uh, the cashier verifying the signature that have been provided and opens the same specimen signature card which was uh, which belongs to account number five account number six because account number six is being debited here a sum of 20 pounds has been transferred from account number six to account number zero if i will just see what impact does it have on the main database and how this information is stored now suppose that mr john nye comes and asks for a bank draft so the account number six and the amount that is required or you could enter it as uh, 006 as it is present in bank files mention amount which is i say 30 pounds and in words it is 30 only and it has to be paid to the grand force group it again requires you to verify the signatures. All of the debit transactions would involve cashier's pin, which is a requirement, so that no other user is able to carry out a transaction. So this is a final view of the draft that has been produced, which can be printed and handed over. The transaction has already been done. So in case if this draft is provided to the customer, that could be cashed. That contains all of the information that has been filled by the MATLAB and just requires some additional signatures so we'll close that okay now we see other transaction services and information services how that affects and the bank has a couple of accounts right now the environment in the lab is quite noisy so you might feel that so first is the balance inquiry so let's check about the customer profile and the balance and check the balance for John Nike that account that we just opened which is account number six and this gives all of the information that the bank contains <coughs> the customer's name is John Nike identity card date of birth present balance is 240 pounds status is active and this bank also has features that can block an account in that case no transaction would be able to take place the specimen signature cards that are present in the bank record are shown here it is a savings account customer profile now coming to the main feature which is the main feature of the program most of the design was meant for this feature to be able to function now let's check the account statement of account number six that we just opened today now this is the starting date and we wish to check the date from yeah, today is uh, six May. So we'll check that. First May is fifth month to thirtieth May two thousand eleven, which will cover all of the transactions that we have just done today. Now, as you can see, this is a balance statement of the account. Initial transaction was cash deposit by Numan Khan, credit 300, no, the balance became 300, and check withdrawal by Amjad, debit $10, 10 pounds, and the balance is this. The clever thing about is the bank database only contains a present balance, but MATLAB has been programmed to calculate balances in reverse and consider all of the transactions that have taken place since that to calculate a transaction in past time so at 6 5 2011 10 50 there was a transaction that we just did this is an example of an account statement that has been created i'll come to another feature the main feature one of the main features of the program which involve pretty complex algorithm is a search mechanism the search mechanism i'll just explain how that works now say that some person comes and says uh, I, I need to know about details of Johnny this even does not require the keyword to be exact okay the algorithm works as follows like you can see the keyword is Johnny the algorithm works on a comparison basis it works through each of the character of each of the account name that is present in the record 
and when one thing matches one of the character matches like j matches then it matches the characters that are in succession to that so it's a linear sequence matching after which the probability is calculated of the best result and in this case this is the john nike which is the highest score and this has a little bit of scores due to some matching and the best result is john nike let's consider another example of this to see if this really works there are a couple of accounts in the bank and let's see if ahmed now, as you can see there are quite a lot of results for this ahmed jilani is an account all of the details are regarding this are shown here here even the ahmed the spellings of ahmed are not right but even then you can see it because it still has a score which is lesser than the first one but still enjoys the second position here let's check another one one of the my own name is numan so i would check by just this to see if it can actually detect that so it shows that Muhammad Duman kaise on the top because it receives the highest score because N O U so it would N O so it would kind of get around two score and the probability of this being the best result is high so the number of results shown are three but for any result for which there is a score is exceedingly low is not shown on the record let's come back to other features then okay one more minute uh, the bank maintains a uh, treasury which is account number one actually and that treasury has uh, definitely a lot of money now I'll explain that the concept of treasury when I come to the concept of savings account that are existent in this bank and there is definitely an account statement for treasury as well the treasury credits each customer a savings that is earned on the basis of a set profit and calculated on a daily basis 